the classical number that you hear of 98% similarity between human and chimp DNA is largely true. Sometimes people describe this as simply being similar feature sets and therefore requiring similar DNA instructions. That's not true. You could direct the composition of two very similar organisms using completely different DNA instructions. It's not even necessary for there to be a 1% overlap. On top of that, what is especially fascinating is that the most similar genetic organisms to us, like the chimpanzees, they're not just similar in the portions of your DNA that code for functional traits like specific proteins. The DNA of a chimp and a human are also incredibly similar in the non-coding regions. In fact, one of the most dramatic examples of this is that the insertion and distribution of endogenous retroviruses is nearly identical across humans and chimps, with the sole exception of endogenous retroviruses that have invaded the genome of humans and chimps respectively since the divergence of these two lineages from a common ancestor. This series of endogenous retroviruses or ERVs tells us that their DNA came from a shared ancestor. The DNA tells a fascinating story that evolution really happened.